Hello, I'm getting ready to do my plan with me in my Recollections Unicorn Planner. I still haven't started the glitter one. I will probably go back and, you know, do a layout in it just because I like it. <laughs> I, I hate to start one. I want to finish this one, but I want to start that one, so I'm not sure what to do. I'm still deciding. But anyway, so this week in this Unicorn Planner... I planned in it for you know all of this year. I'm using the polka dot planner her mermaid kit ECK003 so we'll kind of run through the kit real quick and then we'll go over the clips I'm going to use and then we'll get started. So this has got your washi strips, some banners and that little uh, it's a full box but it's hollow in the center and it's scalloped. I really like it. I think it's cute. Let's use it. Here's the deco, and there is a ton of it. Love it. I think this kit is gorgeous, by the way. It's mermaids. It's pink, purple, teal. All my favorites. I didn't even get washi out because this kit is so pretty. I don't think I need it. I might. We'll have to see. I don't think so. I mean, look at this gorgeousness. Love it. And I am using two Threadhead Designs clips, the purple sequin bow because I thought it went very well with the kit. And also because this is purple and pink and it's got my monogram on it and I haven't got to use it. Super cute. That's for being one of the PR team members. I like it. So special. And then two of the pretty rose glittery clips that I made. And then of course I've got my planner band. So we'll go ahead, open this up, and get started. Huh. See, I haven't even done my monthly yet. I've got a kit for that. I'll get to it eventually. I did fill out a lot of stuff on last week, so, you know, I do use it. Alright. So let's get started. And I will reach over here and lay out my stickers. Well, I'll probably start with my washies. Because I tend to. Because there's a ton of stickers in these kits. Sheesh, I just love this. Alright, so we'll start with the bottom washi and all this gorgeous mermaid. Ugh, just simply gorgeous. I'd like to be a mermaid riding on a unicorn. Hey, you know, anything's possible. Why not? Getting a wish for something. You might as well go for the whole kit and caboodle. Don't sell yourself short. Why be a mermaid or just ride a unicorn when you can do it both? I still have to drink lots of coffee though. I'm convinced even mermaids would love coffee. I know when I was a kid, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Last Unicorn. It's like a cartoon thing. I loved that when I was a kid. Look at those colors. That is just amazing. I love it. Alright, so we will start with the full boxes. And I'm going to use up here in this corner, I'm going to use this mermaid scale one. Cover all this stuff up. And I'm still going to use this one because I like it. And even with the mermaid scales, I think it will work nicely. Because it's just enough color contrast that it'll stand out. And I do just happen to have my quotes by a polka dot planner right here. And I like this. Perhaps you were born for such a time such as this. So I will put that one in. And I like... Well, I did grateful last week, but you know what? I can do grateful again. 
I'm going to put it in here. But I am going to cover up that little heart with one of these blue hearts because the blue heart is right with this kit. So I'll put the blue heart right there. See, there's my quote. I don't know if you can see that. It seems like it's very white. Alrighty. And I am going to use a washi strip. I will go with the... Uh, I think that's going to be too close in color. So, I think I'm actually... Oh, I got a sneeze. So about how wide is that? Alright, so I'm going to use one of these full boxes for the meals. I'm going to drop it down just a little bit. Then I'll put this lovely pink wavy border right in here. And that way I didn't lose everything. That's how that works. And I will use a couple of these small I'll use purple and this light blue. I guess I should have seen what color the trackers are. Purple and light blue. Hmm. That's okay. So what I will do, since I haven't stuck this light blue down, I will trade it out for a dark blue. And I'll just stick that one right back on there. That way we get a little break of color. Now I will use a washi strip. I'm still on camera. I can't think of any appointments I have this week. Not right offhand. So I'll put this dark pink box right here. I'll probably put deco on it. Then I will add my two trackers. And probably might make you guys a little bit seasick flipping it around and flipping it around. And I think for now we're gonna leave just this little bottom open. I might come back and add something to it. And I think I will dig me out a little bit of washi. I thought I had a real pretty row of I do this teal blue that I got in a kit. So I will use that right there. It was one of my things from my meetup. It was from Deborah T. Crafts. But I think that'll look nice and it'll go right there. But for now, I'll let that go. Alrighty. So. Let's see what else we got here. Well, I'm actually going to use two strips of washi. Maybe more. And the joy of trying to find the end of the washi strip. There we go. Slowly but surely. Run that right across the top there. 
about the trusty washi cutter. I think I'll just go over the numbers and pin. Now see now the beginning of the month is bright, the end of the month blends. Funny. I think I'd liked it if the whole month had just been teal rather than I mean I love green. But I like teal too. I'll go ahead and run this down the side since I'm already working with the washi. Like I have said, this washi tends to be stretchy, so you don't want to overstretch it or you'll get it stuck down and it'll kind of peel up a little bit. You kind of want to make sure you get it where you want it without stretching it or it will pop up because this washi is very thin. And I like that because you get a ton on a roll. Alright, so that's what I got so far. Looking pretty good. Ooh. And I think I'm going to do checklist at the bottom. Can I get my head right in the way? They are such lovely colors. I love them. I will rotate these boxes back and forth for my overtime. have to turn it. I'm trying to get to where I don't have to turn it to lay stuff out, but it's just not happening. I just plan better upside down or sideways. That's all there is to it. I cannot believe how gorgeous this kid is. And here's my little boxes I'm rotating with. And I'll keep track of my overtime in this one.
with that box. So now we will do the full boxes that I have moved all around. So I think I'm done adulting. It's definitely like a Friday kind of one. Because at the end of the week, you pro are probably pretty much done adulting. And I feel like that's just a little bit more crooked than what I can handle. And her stickers do peel up nicely. If you can get them all lined up without your head in the camera, and I probably didn't. There we go. Much better. I think something's a little crooked there, but I think I got it pretty well evened out. Okay. And then I'll put this lovely mermaid right here on Wednesday. She is so pretty. I'm going to put the starfish right here. I just adore the colors in this kit. They are beautiful. I'm going to put the flowers right here. all these lovely anchors right here. And this one right here for Thursday. I think I'm just going to rotate back and forth between the three of them. Just because I like the different colors. So we'll turn it upside down and start lining them up. I would love to go to the beach, but I have figured out that the beach and I are not friends. And we've gone to the beach a couple times. and I get there, I get in the water, I marvel at the lovely views. Then sand gets everywhere, salt's kind of crusty in your hair. There's bugs and syrup cells, shells. Then I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go home. Because inevitably, I'm always sunburnt. Always. But, you know, I can't even sit outside on a normal day in Ohio for more than a few minutes without getting a sunburn. And unfortunately for me, because I also have a sun allergy, which means right before the sunburn, I will get a rash that looks like little water blisters that I will have for most of the summer once I get it if I'm not careful and don't avoid it. I've gone to my allergist and he says, you know what? I've seen thousands of patients and you're the first one that I've ever actually met that has a sun allergy. Now I'm not like, you know, the people that can't go out in the sun at all because I can go out as long as I'm careful but if I'm out real long, it's not pretty. All right. So I think that's that. So 
So I want to add in my weekend board banner. I'm going to add it right here above these. And I found for centering the weekend banner, if you line up like the center of the K along that line, that centers it pretty well between the two boxes. It don't help you keep it straight, but it does center it pretty well. I'm trying to decide, because I got just a little line right there. I think I'm actually just going to run a little bit of this thin washi right across there. If I can find the end again. Oh, wow. So, uh, oh, there it is. Found it. Yay me. And that just covers up the green right there. And adds yet more glitter to my spread. I'm all about glitter. Ah, my fingernails kind of match my planner spread. How about that? I feel like it needs a little washy right here too because I just feel like the patterns kind of need a break between the patterns and the bottom washy. Yes, I think that looks much better. I think it was just looking a little too busy. And it's another excuse for glitter washi. Gotta take it when we can get it, ladies. I'd glitter washi my entire house if I could get away with it. But I think somebody might eventually complain. So people have no vision. <laughs> I'd probably even get tired of glitter if I did my whole house. But that's what I got so far. So, now I think I'm officially done with that. So, I'm going to use one of these light pink ones. Even though it's got a little mail on it, that is okay. Because I'm going to run it right across here. And then add this purple circle. Because Thursday is payday. And I'll write that in. I'm going to do my cleaning and stuff as I go. And I can't think of anything right off hand that I've got to do this week. I don't have a dentist appointment until the end of the month. I do like these two little flags. So I'm going to put them on the weekend. Just because they are cute. Oh, I guess it had a, bill, a payday right there. Well, I'll use it too. go right on the other side. Money, payday, it all works. Uh, there's always bills due. Oh, waste my good stickers on bills due. Alrighty. So now, still have this space down here. Fill it in with the prettiness of these washer strips. Alright. I'll put one of these lovely pink flowers right here in the corner. Yeah, look at that. 
These are just simply gorgeous. I'm just for a Sunday evening. I'm exhausted. I had dinner with my sister and her boys, and my brother was there and his wife and their kids. Very fun, very fun. Changes it all up. I'm definitely saving some of these for another layout. Although I do see where a shell looks like it was needed there. And I will put this cute little seahorse right here. I can write the stuff I gotta do right beside him. And of course. Start Monday off with a cup of coffee. Alrighty. I think that is spectacular. I love this kit. I hope that I did it justice. Oh, I did want to go over my numbers in purple ink because I don't feel that the green matches in thankfully their font is pretty easy to trace and it is those my favorite glitter pens from Dollar Tree Now the letter, the numbers pop out much more, and I think it looks much, much better. And this will say meals here. And then my steps. My goal is 10,000 on the weekends and 12,000 a day during the week. Most generally I get 15, 16,000. I should probably set that higher. Since I'm busting it most days, I'll put my little OTs for my overtime. But I don't tend to plan a whole lot of stuff ahead, except for stuff I really have to. But most generally, I go to work and I come home and I craft or walk or watch TV, cook dinner. You know, I got stuff I have to do. Cleaning and all that yay, yay, happy, happy, joy, joy, fun stuff. But now, actually, 
I think I am finally done. There is a look at the whole spread. I think it's very pretty. Her kits are huge, so I still have plenty of stickers, including Gorgeous Deco, left over to do another spread, probably in my mini. And some of these I will use during the week. If I have any appointments, I might pop them on there. But as of right now, I can't think of anything unless I'm forgetting something, which is totally possible. I know we're always busy at work. But... Alrighty, so that's my layout for the week. Thanks. Bye.